Let's check in now with Scott Bauer for a day trade. Scott. Hi there, Angie. We're going to talk about JP Morgan. They reported their earnings just the other day. It was not received real well in the investing community, in the marketplace. Some of the other big banks as well, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, they reported Citi. Uh, most of them pretty negative right now, although Goldman Sachs did rebound. I really like the upside here in JP Morgan. Um, I think it's out there. I think the harm to the bank and what they, the reserves that they have to take, that is out there right now. And with the volatility still remaining in the marketplace here, trading revenues are going to be robust moving forward. So I'm looking at a very, very short-term position here for a very quick upside move off of the big decline that we saw uh, yesterday. I am looking to buy the 93 call of next week and at the same time sell the 88 put. This is called a risk reversal or a Texas hedge. I can do that for about even. It's a very, very bullish trade. The reason that I am willing to take the risk on this trade is because if JP Morgan continues to go down, I have no problem owning the stock at 88. I want to own it there anyway. So what I'm doing right here is I'm giving myself basically free upside exposure with you know, if the stock does go down, I am willing to buy it there. So that is my trade on JP Morgan. It's called a risk reversal where you buy a call, sell a put, or otherwise known as a Texas hedge. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you, Andy. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.